Hey, Tommy, I knew we could count on you. You really want me to do this? I've never raced before. Okay, I know it won't be easy, but we don't have a choice. If you can do it, we won't lose out. Do I look like I can do this? I don't even know the rules. Look, it's a cakewalk. You go five laps, you need to come in first for us to win. If you come in second, the dough's lost. But since we tuned that clown's car a little, everything should go smoothly. Also, at those speeds, it's quite normal for someone to bang into you. So watch out for those other bastards. Good luck, Tom. I know you can do it. Well, I don't believe it. <clears throat> Tom, half the neighborhood and all our boys bet on the Don's boy. Do you know what it would mean if you lost? The Don would lose. You would lose all the respect which we busted our asses to build up. People give us their trust as well as their dough. Do you understand what's at stake? Yeah, I got it, Frank. I understand. Take it easy, son. Show them what you're made of.
knew you wouldn't let us down, Tommy. You're really one of us now. A lot of people made a lot of money on that race, Tommy. And you get all the credit. So you won't come out short. You should stop by and see Lucas Bertoni. He also bet and won a pile of money. So he wants to repay you, too. Somehow. Okay, I will. Congratulations, you big Thanks. hero. Hello, is there anyone home? Hey, Tommy, right here. Hey, Tom, congratulations on winning, huh? Oh, you did great. I didn't really think you'd do it at first, huh? But when you got going, I knew how it would end, yeah. Thanks to you, I won a big bag of money. And just so you know I'm not ungrateful, I'll teach you a few tricks. You see that, Butte? Well, now I can't give it to you, but I can show you how to lift one and where. Watch how easy it is to get into this baby. There you go. Piece of cake. Okay. I figure I can manage that. There's another one that belongs to a loaded official down at City Hall. During the day, it sits in a car lot behind a municipal building on Central Island. I think I might go and check if it's, uh, parked correctly. When you get tired of that, stop back here. I always have something new. Thanks, Lucas. I'll come by sometime after work. I'll be seeing you. So I made a few new friends and got my first luxury car. 
Didn't seem so bad being a gangster. One evening, after a slow day, I was sitting alone at Salieri's and just drinking. Luigi came over to me and asked me if I wouldn't do him a favor. Hey, Tommy. You know my daughter, right? Yeah, Luigi. Nice girl. You must be proud. Thanks, Tommy. She sometimes helps out here behind the bar. Thing is, I don't want her to walk home alone tonight. Only yesterday some stupid punks gave us some problems. You know, with all that dirty talk and all that. You know, I am worried about the girl. So I thought that maybe you could see her home. It's not far away. You're a gentleman and you have a lot of respect in this neighborhood. Those punks wouldn't try anything with you around. No problem, Luigi. It'll be a walk in the park. Oh, Tom, you cannot imagine how grateful I am. Damn, I was worried. No one knows who these guys are. Come in for lunch tomorrow and I'll do something special. Sarah, come over here. Sarah, this is Tommy. He'll take you home and make sure those punks don't bother you anymore. Hello. Hello, thanks a lot. It won't take you long. I don't live very far from here. Let me get my coat and then we can go. Okay, I'll wait for you outside. It's really nice of you to be doing this. Those clowns were really strange. I was really nervous. No problem. Paulie and I'll deal with those troublemakers later. So you also work for Mr. Salieri, don't you? He's a nice man. He's always a lot of fun. Yeah, I work for him sometimes. But we usually ain't laughing and having fun. So what do you actually do? Hmm. I usually just chauffeur the Don around, even though he occasionally surprises me, like when he wanted me to drive in the race. Yeah, I saw that. You drove really well. Uh, I was just real lucky. You're so modest. It had to be more than luck to beat those guys. Well, I used to drive a taxi, and the only real racing I've ever done was the night before. There you go. You see, you got talent. Mm, you might be right. Anyway, it wasn't too pretty. I don't like being in the spotlight. Hey, looky here. Who's the cute pair? There they are. What's up? You were alone last night, darling, and tonight you have a boyfriend. Boys, I think it would be better if you just go away and not make any problems. I think the only one here with a problem is you, Chief. If I were in your shoes, I'd leave right now. You never know what might happen. We'll see, lover boy. No, I've got something else to do today. Some pimp hustler. I like to have a piece of that slug. That oh, mm -hmm. oh, oh, <laughs> pig, you bastard! I'll kill oh. you. Oh. Come oh. here, I got oh. him. Come on, come on. Oh. Help. Oh. Oh. We're being attacked. Oh. 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 Everybody, Help. here We're now. Being Everybody, here, now! Oh, 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 oh,
Oh, thank you. If you hadn't been there, I don't know what would have happened. That's okay, Sarah. Anytime. I was really scared, Tom. Are you okay? Come on, we're almost home. I'll take a look at you there. I live alone right next door to Pop. My mother left us not long after I was born. So, you work with Paulie too? He's really funny. Yeah, yeah, he's real funny. I always say that he could have been an actor. Sometimes he acts real strange. It's really creepy. I don't know how a person can change mood so suddenly. He must have been through a lot in his life. <laughs> yeah, he's been around the block a few times. He grew up on the streets and everything rubbed off on him. Maybe that's why he behaves kind of rough to strangers. He's real grateful to Don Salieri. Who knows what would have happened if he hadn't taken him under his wing. Yeah, Mr. Salieri even helped out my dad a lot. He's almost like a grandfather to me. Yeah, Don Salieri's a good guy. Okay, here we are. Come inside. So, this is my kingdom. Come in and take a load off. I'll have a look at your wounds. This is quite a kingdom. Roll up your sleeves, sir. Help is at hand. Well, let's have a look. Hmm, doesn't look too serious. Yeah, yeah, that's true. They looked a lot worse than they are. Hmm, hold on a second, I'll clean it. There you go, it didn't even hurt. Thank you. It's me who should be thanking you. Would you care for a drink, Tom? Well, I could use a little whiskey, if you got it. Sure thing. This evening's getting interesting. Here you go, hero. So, do you swing? What? Do you like dancing, music? I have a gramophone. Yeah, I like music. Are Salieri's men tough with everyone? Well, we try to be gentle with people sometimes. Some of you, maybe but only a few. And are you one of Salieri's tough guys? Only sometimes. Well, I think you're a very good bad man. Oh, sometimes I'm even a very bad good man.
Sarah was an angel. I had a lot of girls before that, but that was something different, very different. It was clear to me that if I was going to spend the rest of my life with someone, it would be with her. The very next day, I told Salieri what happened with the punks. The gang of hoodlums had set up residence in his territory, causing trouble and scaring good people. Don Salieri was not pleased. What? In my territory? The nerve. And on top of that, they attacked defenseless women. Did anything happen to Sarah, Tommy? No, boss. She's okay. I took care of it. Good. Why the hell didn't Luigi say something? We could have taken care of this immediately. I won't stand for those chicken shits attacking people in my territory. Who do they think they are? They pay me for protection, so we've got to get these punks and put them where they belong. Me and Tom will fix it. Do those bastards think this is freaking Luna Park or something? I'll rip them apart with my own hands. Pauly, Pauly, take it easy. Nobody's killing anybody, get it? I want you to teach them a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies and leave them laying in a pool of their own blood. Make sure those bastards need wheelchairs. Little kids will laugh at their busted faces. Let everybody see what happens when somebody trashes my territory. Sounds interesting, boss. That ain't a bad idea at all. We'll need to find out where they're located. Big Biff might know something. He's always standing around in Chinatown. Go find him and ask him. No problem, boss. <laughs>